Hi, I'm Jessica Kellner. I'm here with Marnie Walsh from American Promise. She's a new staff member on the Citizen Empowerment Team. Hi, Marnie. Hi, how are you? I am good. How are you doing today? I'm great, thank you. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about your new role on American Promise? Sure. So I am the empowerment coordinator with the American Promise. I've st I started about, it was probably a little over a month ago now. Um, and I'm just kind of getting, uh, um, getting acclimated to like new terminology, identifying how the 28th amendment can impact every American, not just specific groups of people, which I think is super amazing. Um, just like reaching out to different networks have been great and learning and meeting new chapters has been pretty awesome in terms of like learning, um, individuals stories as to either why they wanted to start a chapter and what kind of moved them forward um like within their specific role some people it's interesting because some chapters are either retired professionals or others like are still working and like and i think it's great how no matter what place they are in their life they're still truly want to pass this amendment which i think is amazing and super mobilizing as well yeah, awesome. So as a citizen empowerment coordinator, you'll be both doing outreach as well as working with current chapter members to like help empower them to reach their goals. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. So what drew you um, professionally to the work at American Promise and how did you come to be in, be our latest team member? So I really resonated with um, American Promise's mission statement, specifically focusing on the, the vocabulary word of like inclusivity. Um, I did a lot of work about at, in college about creating an inclusive environment. And I was interested to see like what that looked like within a political standpoint. Um, I was just drawn to how American Promise was really focused on um, taking money out of politics was, which is a conversation that I haven't really had a lot about in my own personal life and in, I guess, like in an academic setting. So I was super drawn to learning more about it and then using my work that I did in college um, within this role as an empowerment coordinator. Cool. So um, a lot of people, as you've probably been talking with them, come into the work of money and politics because of some other issues that they care about that they recognize aren't necessarily being addressed because of money and politics. Is that true for you or what kind of personally drew you to draws you to this? Yes, yeah, so definitely. Definitely. Um, a specific issue. So I just, am, I'm a recent college grad. I graduated with a major in criminology, minor in sociology with a focus on police brutality and um, like black um, injustices. So I guess like what kind of drew me was about police brutality and the amount of money that we're giving to police departments to only, which is only hurting um, a large demographic of people. Like we're not, they're not focusing on, I guess like cultural diversity and how to work on trainings like de-escalation trainings and identifying individual with different needs, not necessarily like racially diverse, but like individuals who are on the spectrum or individuals who suffer from PTSD, depending on a different areas of things. So money is definitely, I think money definitely hurts individuals. And I think by taking that out, of, especially taking that out of politics is just, it's allowing more voices to be heard. And like, and same with police departments, like the amount of money that is being spent on, I like, I guess like a, a bigger, what I found in my research, like there's a lot of money being spent on um, uniforms, uniforms and weapons. However, like those weapons are hurting people. So like that money that is being pushed in these departments is mm -hmm. hurting um, specifically black populations. Mm -hmm. I always think it's really interesting reading um, a lot of times you can read on a variety of issues that when you speak to Americans about particulars within uh, an, an issue, a lot of Americans really agree on things that they want to see in terms of reform in various areas. And I think policing is one of them where there's kind of a, a certain polarizing conversation, but mm -hmm. then there's also actually a lot of agreement among Americans. And if we could let 
the American people's voices express what they truly want more, we would actually like find a lot more common ground than I think people maybe think. Mm -hmm. I agree. Um, okay, so why would you encourage people across America to join the movement for the 28th Amendment? Um, I would encourage people to join the movement to, I guess it just, I guess like you don't necessarily have to be extremely familiar with like certain areas of politics and certain vocabularies, but I would encourage people to join the movement so they have an idea and a sense of like what's going on. Like if, if you're not aware of things that are happening within our government, it's, it's extremely difficult for your voice to be heard. Um, but I think what is super important with American Promise is how it is cross-partisan. So you're, there's a ton of different individuals that you're, that I've personally spoke to and um, I've heard different uh, political beliefs that they had. And it's just super uplifting because at the end of the day, we're all just working on passing this 28th Amendment. So I think there's like a sense of unity and like a push for American Promise and this 28th Amendment as well. Yeah, that's one of my favorite things about American Promise is that underlying um, cross-partisanship, people come to it from a huge array of backgrounds right. because they care about a lot of issues, but we all understand in order for any of us to be heard and for any of us to be able to express our views effectively, we have to get the overwhelming influence of big money out of politics. Exactly. Yeah. So what's one of your hope, main goals that you hope to accomplish in this role at American Promise? Um, I hope to, I guess, like I've been stating a lot of like interacting with people from like different backgrounds and um, in different, I guess, like not necessarily like what has been studied in the past, but like, I guess like demographic, like there's a, there's a diverse in terms of where people live, like the different experiences, but I really hope to engage and I guess like interact with more people of color and individuals within marginalized communities. Um, Cause I believe that that those voices are, especially during this time and there's a lot of social unrest and social injustices that are happening. I believe that their voices will be extremely crucial um, within passing this 20th amendment. So that's my goal as an empowerment coordinator, like reaching out to people of color, people within the LGBTQ plus community um, and hearing their voice in terms of like, how, how can I better um, do this role and create more engagement um, within different experiences that they've had? Awesome. Well, I know I am only one of many that is very happy to have you on the team. Um, welcome and excited to see all of the awesome things you're going to do as part of the American Promise team. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Marnie.